And so, the trouble with Optimus. I want to introduce you to Admiral Jim Stockdale. Admiral Jim Stockdale was the highest ranking US naval officer to be imprisoned in the Vietnam War back in the day. And because he was the highest ranking, well then his captors, the Vietnamese, wanted to use him for propaganda video. So they put him on a stool one day, tried to video him, but this guy was tough. He said, no way. He found a way of slashing his own head with a razor, so they couldn't video him. They said, no problem, Jim. Wear this hat. We'll video you now. No way, says he. And he found a way of getting a stool and beating his own face to a pulp with a stool. I mean, this guy was tough out. He was tortured almost to the point of death multiple times uh, while he was in the camps, but he learned how to survive. Um, by the time he got out of the camps, he was a, a shadow of the man, man he, the, the, that, he had, that he had been in the past. His arms had been pulled from their sockets. He was on a walking frame and so on. But he survived. And in a book called Good to Great by Jim Collins, the author, Jim Collins, asked Stockdale, how did you survive? And he said, I developed this philosophy. Never lose faith that you will prevail in the end while simultaneously confronting the most brutal facts of your current reality. Never lose faith that you will prevail in the end while simultaneously confronting the most brutal facts of your current reality. That's how he survived the war. He was asked who didn't survive the war and it's Stockdale's answer to who didn't survive the war is why I bring him into my talks. And when he was asked who didn't survive the war, his answer astounded me. He said, that's easy. The optimists didn't survive the war. Now, when I read that the first time, I thought, that doesn't make any sense. I considered myself an optimist, and maybe you consider yourself an optimist. The optimists didn't survive the war. He went on to explain that the optimists were those who didn't really give credence to the stuff they were going through at any deep level. They just sort of said, this is going to be grand, lads. We'll be home. The Marines will come in and rescue us. We'll be home at Christmas. Of course, the Marines didn't, and they weren't. No problem, lads. We'll be at home in the good old US of A in the summertime. Of course, they weren't. Do you know what? We'll be back home eating turkey on Thanksgiving. Of course, they weren't. Christmas came and went. Summer came and went. Thanksgiving came and went. Christmas came and went again. And he said, the optimists gave up. The optimists simply died of a broken heart. Now, what's that got to do with you and I? Well, what's it got to do with you and I is we've got to remember Stockdale's philosophy. Never lose faith that you will prevail in the end while simultaneously confronting the most brutal facts of your current reality. In other words, absolutely believe in yourself and what it is you've set out to do and that you will prevail. But at the same time, don't be Pollyanna about all the stuff that's happening around you. Handle the stuff that's, hap that's happening around you. Deal with the stuff that's, ha that's happening around you. Believe you'll prevail in the end while simultaneously confronting the most brutal facts of your current reality. And don't just be an optimist. Don't just be a Pollyanna optimist. And I hope you found that interesting. I hope you found that snippet interesting. So if you'd like to hear more of this type of stuff, well then simply pop over to the homepage and uh, watch the two minute video there or pop your name in to the boxes there and we'll send you regular stuff of this nature that uh, I hope and believe may be of help to you. Uh, indeed, if you'd like a free copy of Feeding Johnny, How to Build a Business Despite the Roadblocks in audio uh, format, well then uh, click the link below this video in the blog, uh, columbrymotivation.com forward slash free audio book. If, as I said earlier, if you've enjoyed it, um, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, if you think somebody else might benefit, please share it out privately or publicly. And then uh, come back next week and I'll share another, another story with you. Come back next week and uh, we'll do another Coffee with Colm. Cheers. Delicious. Bye for now.